getting a little chilly out here, my butts. Well, we made it to Lowe's. How it makes the lights look funny at nighttime. It's another reason I don't like filming at night. So uh, this is where we're gonna park tonight. Uh, this is where he said we would get unloaded. And what's nice about this is it's really nicely lit. So we can get this um, we can get this untarped and uh, unstrapped and ready for him seven o'clock in the morning. cleaned up they don't want me parking here for the night so they said they either want me to pull back behind the building or back up by these trailers I'll probably back up by these trailers so I don't have to worry about circling the, the building again but uh, you see these racks that we picked up that they wanted me to tarp yeah that's the same racks that sit right out here out, outside so Lita and Mason swear up and down the uh, broker said no tarp. But since I couldn't get a hold of them this morning, I didn't know if it was tarp or not. So I ended up tarping it. What are you doing, fat butts? All right, so I'm gonna finish cleaning up some of these straps here and then uh, probably back up. Check it out, we got a Dunkin' Donuts over here, a Dairy Queen, a McDonald's. A Walmart um, I think there's a Burger King down the road I stopped on the way here and got me some cookout it's pretty terrible I'm not gonna lie it was uh, not what it not what it usually is so I think I'm gonna skip the whole eat dinner there's a there's a uh, like I said there's a Dairy Queen over there maybe I'll go get me like a small ice cream even though it's like 30 degrees outside I gotta keep my figure. You know what I mean? There goes a cat. I don't know if Nola's gonna see it. She's such a good dog. So uh, last night I got on uh, Fiverr and I paid somebody to design us some shirts. So we'll see how that turns out. And uh, hopefully those things will be available before you guys see this video. And if you didn't catch it, we're donating a hundred percent of profits to different charities um, I'll let you guys choose which ones maybe we'll do it like a month-by-month -month basis I would really like to donate it donate it to animal shelters but maybe we'll do a vote I'll leave it up to you guys see what you guys want to do let me clean these straps up and then we are going to bed all right good morning it's uh it's a little after six we woke up took all my window things out of the truck um, after we moved last night a semi truck pulled up here where we were parked with some stuff to unload and I was like you know what if they unload him before me I'm, I'm gonna be pretty upset because if they don't unload me almost immediately we're in some big trouble I already got the broker at 6 15 in the morning asking where we're at and wanting to track me and uh 
they said nothing about tracking. You know, brokers keep pulling this, they wanna track you. You know what, I'm okay with you tracking me once I have your product on my trailer, but you're not sending me a tracking before I have your product on my trailer. You don't have to know where I am before I come pick up your product. If I tell you I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. So, hey, good morning, Nolas. How you doing? Do you sleep good? All right, so we're gonna sit here and um, basically hog this spot to make sure we get unloaded first. And then as soon as we do, we're out of here. We gotta head, um, like I said, 140 miles. I hope we can knock it out quickly. And uh, we should be home today. Pretty excited about that. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, check this out. So it's now 6.30. I'll just unplug this thing. And look who just pulled up behind me. The truck from last night. So it's a good thing I woke up early and pulled up here. So we could get unloaded first. Ain't that right, Nola's? Well, they had me pull around the back of the building and uh, two more semi trucks pulled in behind us and they started unloading them so we might lose this next load because like I said uh, the broker said I could get there at 11 and then they send the rate con and I looked at it last night and it says that they stop unloading at 1030 like how do you stop unloading at 1030 oh looks like they might be unloading me now God, I hope. Nope, they might just be moving the forklift. So, according to Google, we've got three hours to get there. It's now 722. You know, I even pre-called them. And, uh, yep, 7 o'clock, we'll get you unloaded at 7. I'm like, all right, I'll be unstrapped and ready for you at 7 o'clock. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll, we'll be ready. Nope. So, I don't know. I guess it's my fault. I should have, uh, I put, honestly, I, I didn't think it was three hours because it's 140 miles. So I was thinking 70 miles an hour. That's only a two hour drive. I can make that easy. I don't know why Google's saying it's gonna be three hours for 140 miles. I don't know if, what the roads are like, honestly. I haven't even looked at it. But if it's saying that it's gonna be that long for a car with a truck route, it's gonna be even worse. Let me see what it's saying. 58 down to 421 to 321 to 85. I don't know. I'll let you guys know what's up. And there's the truck that uh, was behind me earlier unloaded like come on really all right guys it's now eight o'clock that's right it took them an hour to unload me which normally isn't a big deal but when you're first in line and they unload four trucks before you it pisses you off right i know robert's bitching again Fuck you guys i don't give a um so we've got three hours to this pickup come on dipshit I swear to God, I, I hate the holidays because nobody knows how to drive around the holidays. It's so ridiculous. It's like you can't even go out for a gallon of milk around the holidays because you got every single idiot that has never drove before in their life on the road. So, all right, I'm gonna stop bitching. Uh, Lita called the next pickup. They're gonna go ahead and wait on me. So, <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be okay.
Well, there's that. That is the uh, load taking us to Orlando, Florida. So this gets me home for Thanksgiving. Um, kind of a weird tarp job. I was thinking my I could cover all this with one black tarp, but uh, I guess that's not the case. Um, today is the day that I posted. Is that screen dirty? God, I'm constantly cleaning this dirty ass screen. Today's the day I posted about uh, running out of gas on my motorcycle. That, you know, it's not just this video, but there's a lot of videos where I've never seen so many grown ass men. I, I assume they're men, probably not. They're probably little kids, but just bitch and complain about the video either not being about hot shot or they don't like the content or blah 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 I have sand in my vagina I can't not watch your video and then complain I'm so <laughs> hearing it I really am you know it's it's not an airport you don't have to announce your departure there's more people out there that want to see different content than you my YouTube channel isn't just for you it's for others you know and i can never win either my music's good or my music sucks not enough road footage too much road footage you know show us more show us less and hey man if you don't like the video don't watch it there'll be more hot shot videos i promise you Fuck. oh this ain't about hot shot i'm out of here well see you later karen See you later. Fucking cry babies. You know, a lot of people complain that I'm always complaining. I finally put out a happy video. Something that made me happy. Going and spending some time on my motorcycle, camping. And fucking people cry and bitch about everything. You can't ever fucking make people happy. That's why I have the attitude that I don't care if you don't like the channel don't fucking watch it I will fucking delete you if you say you're done with the channel that way you can never see the content again because I don't care I really don't I promise you you'll miss out on some funny shit because I'm a funny ass fucker. you